Andrew Sandy Irvine accompanied George Lee Mallory to Mount Everest even though he wasn't an experienced climber. He was an Oxford student as well as a young athlete. The duo began their expedition to Everest but unfortunately, they disappeared forever. No one had any information about them until decades later, when the body of George was found. Why did Andrew decide to accompany George to Mount Everest? What happened to him? Was the body of Andrew discovered? Before we unravel the mystery, smash the subscribe button and press the bell icon to never miss a single video from Mountaineers. Andrew was a highly skilled person, especially in oxygen sets. He had acquired immense knowledge in various subjects and was enthusiastic to learn more about new things. He was asked to be the climbing partner of George Mallory as he needed a person who had great technical knowledge of oxygen sets. Even though Andrew was not a professional climber and had less experience, he said yes to the opportunity. Little did he know, this would be his final climb. George Mallory had a strong desire to climb Mount Everest and be the first person to achieve it. Previously, he tried once to climb Everest with a great team, but they couldn't succeed. Several porters were with him on the expedition. They lost their lives in an avalanche. George Mallory was supposed to lead them, but he was not able to save their lives. Their loved ones and a few other climbers blamed George for the death of the porters. George was part of the 1921 Himalayan expedition to Mount Everest. He and other climbers found routes to reach the peak of the mountain, but they waited for their next expedition to attempt the climb. In the second expedition, he couldn't complete the climb due to exhaustion and the death of the porters. The third and final chance he had was yet another expedition to Mount Everest. He wanted to do it right this time. He approached Edward Norton, an experienced climber who had set a record by climbing Everest with no additional oxygen. It was Norton who said about the oxygen set, George thought that if he had someone who knows about this oxygen set and its functions, it would be useful for him. Andrew was a perfect choice. The only thing which concerned George was that Andrew was an amateur climber. On the 6th of June 1924, George and Andrew climbed towards their next destination, which was Camp 6. They were with eight porters, and they traveled from Camp 5. They wanted to reach the peak of the world's largest mountain. George had a strong plan and he believes in achieving it with Andrew. On June 8th, the duo continued with their climb. They had already covered more than 8,000 meters. At 12.50 p.m., a geologist and an ardent climber named Noel Odell saw George and Andrew climbing towards the high altitude of Everest. That was the last information about them. Since then, they went missing for decades. No climbers could find them. Are you enjoying the video so far? Now is the right time to press the like button and keep watching. In 1933, Percy Wynne Harris, an experienced climber, found an axe of Andrew. The axe was discovered below the northeastern ridge. 8,450 was the elevation. Many interpreted this discovery to be a sign to show that the body of Andrew would be near the northeastern ridge. He might have fallen off on their way to the top of the mountain. Andrew's oxygen cylinder was found 20 meters high at the place where his axe was found. This raised a lot of questions and confusion on whether Andrew made it to the peak of Everest or if he had fallen off in the middle of the journey. Mallory and Irvine's research expedition was conducted in 1999. The body of George Mallory was found as a result of it. He had carried a camera along with his essentials. It was missing and it was nowhere near his dead body. Even though they attempted to climb Everest, there was no evidence that they finished their ascent. The camera would solve the mystery as it would contain their photos. But unfortunately, the research expedition team couldn't find it. If George had given the camera to Andrew to capture their victory, then the camera would be with him. But to date, no one knows where his body is. Andrew, Sandy Irvine's dead body would solve the debate on whether this duo climbed Everest. But where is his body? Do you think Andrew's body will be discovered soon? Would the camera be destroyed due to harsh weather conditions? 